I feel I am pretty much in, in the center of the core business of the agency, which is putting together a set of technologies into uh, uh, something that uh, becomes a project and that becomes something that will fly and something that will deliver data. In the Earth Observation Directorate, uh, uh, all the projects we have, uh, we first ask scientists what do they need. I'm pretty much uh, working on uh, GPS Galileo receivers. Uh, to determine the position of the satellite with a precision of uh, two centimeters. So we know where the satellite is taking the measurement of the ocean with a precision of two centimeters. And uh, also it's uh, for scientific use because uh, the GPS signals, they bend when they cross the atmosphere and we can determine pressure, uh, temperature, and moisture. And that is very useful for uh, weather forecast. Uh, to get the vertical profiles of the atmosphere up to, from uh, the surface to 100 kilometers altitude. Then I'm also working on uh, the data downlink from the satellite. We are changing the frequencies. We go to uh, four, three times uh, higher frequencies than what we have used until now, meaning that uh, we also have a uh, much more bandwidth and uh, we can uh, bring much more data from the satellites to ground. I want to do something that is useful. And uh, I'm sure that uh, monitoring the weather is something useful for all of us. I, I, I like that what I'm doing delivers a, a good service, good data. People here in ESA that know a, a lot about uh, their technologies, so you it, uh, you can bring the idea I've heard from the scientists that, uh, that uh, we need higher resolution. How could we do it? Can you improve the bandwidth? Can you improve uh, these kind of things? But uh, well, then there are a call for ideas and uh, people submit their ideas and they are uh, judged according to what they can bring, so the impact and the cost. It's very enriching to be able to work with people that are specialized in many disciplines and to learn from all of them. Mm -hmm.